What's up everyone? Welcome back. Wolfson Studio is warning everyone of an upcoming chest wipe. Shows off some more unique items coming to the game with the next major content patch, noting some changes coming with affixes, and even finally, finally announces that trading will be available with the next patch. Wait, what? Yes, it will finally be possible to finish off that collection of uniques by just trading someone for the last few pieces you need. You know, the ones that always just seem so damn impossible to find. Ah, thank you, Wilson. Thank you. Uh, if you saw the last video, then I do apologize for some overlapping information. Personal chest wipe. This was first announced in Wilson's Discord on September 17th, and that was the info that I had to go off of for the last video, which I had started days and days ago. Anyways, Friday, September 20th, Wilson officially announced the wipe in a news update, so just to reiterate for anyone who did not watch the last video or see the update yet, the Wrath of Sarazel release is getting closer, and it's now time to share with you some of the new rewards that you will be able to get along with this coming patch, but first, personal chest wipe. Wilson Studios would like to inform you that a personal chest wipe is going to be done when Wrath of Sarazel is launched in order to permanently resolve a technical issue. They have also brought a lot of changes and improvements to affixes on the current items, leading them to be deprecated, but if you want to keep your high level items, gems, or interacts, then you can put them in your inventory or in secondary characters inventories. The item affixes will be re-rolled when you enter the game, so you might end up with something incredibly awesome or something worse, but you will keep them. In addition to this, all passive and active skill points will be reset as well as the attributes. Wilson Studios knows that it's not ideal, but it's the best solution they could find to avoid a complete wipe and allow you all to jump right into the new challenges that will be available through Area Alterations and Wrath of Sarazel. And finally, they would also like to remind you that a complete character wipe and chest wipe will be done for the release of the game in January 2020, so everyone can have a fresh start. They know that some of you are worried about that and they prefer to warn you again beforehand so there is no unpleasant surprise for you. Alright, moving on to some more exciting news. Trading. Yes, trading will be available with Wrath of Sarazel. You will be able to trade gold, primordial affinity, and of course items of every shape and size. You need to be close to the person you wish to trade with to open a trade window, and there are two steps of validation to ensure safe transactions. If anything is changed in either player's trade offer, the validation is cancelled. With the next content patch, The Wrath of Sarazel, Wilson is introducing more affixes on items, including local affixes, which will affect protection or damage values on the designated item, instead of affecting the global values on the character. When such an affix is present, the value affected is automatically updated with the bonus. Wilson has also worked on item tooltips to improve clarity, and they hope that you will appreciate it. Bear in mind that the balancing is still subject to change before the release of the patch, and and there are still 5 out of 12 other uniques for you to discover when Wrath of Sarazel goes live, quote, which should be quite soon now, end quote. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see it. It's definitely getting exciting, so don't forget to get in game and get those items out of your stash and moved over into your inventory if you would like to keep them. Probably sooner rather than later, better safe than sorry. Unless you don't particularly care and you prefer to start from scratch anyways, more power to ya and you can just ignore all that. But alright, take it easy everyone. Expect more updates as we start to roll into the end of September, so hopefully I will catch you all again next time.